We are back with the next video in the Understanding the Unit series. As you can see on screen, this video, we're going to be talking about the rocket launcher. Welcome back. I hope everybody is doing well. Covering the rocket launcher has been one of the most requested topics for the Understanding the Unit series that I've gotten. And the rocket launcher, it's a pretty controversial unit. But before we jump in and start talking about the rocket launcher, if you are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button so you guys don't miss any future uploads. And if you guys do enjoy this video or any other video on the channel and you're getting value out of the videos, make sure you like this video. It helps the channel and the video out tremendously. Let's try to get this video to at least 150 likes. Now let's go ahead and jump in and start talking about the rocket launchers, the pros and the cons and everything in between. Let's talk about the pros of the rocket launcher first. And like I said, the rocket launcher is a very hot topic unit, meaning that some people love it and some don't. And there's a lot that goes into the rocket launcher that is really going to ultimately determine how well it performs and how much enjoyment and production value you actually get from it. The first and arguably the biggest advantage that you're gonna get from the rocket launcher is the fortification damage boost. If you guys have watched my past understanding the unit videos, I have covered previously both the Liberty Artillery Unit and the Martyr's Watch Artillery Unit. We went over the fortification damage that those two artillery units have. The rocket launcher has 350% damage bonus to fortifications. That is 50% more than the Liberty Artillery unit. That means that the rocket launcher is the hardest hitting best unit against fortifications, i.e. bases in Warpath. But does that make it worth having? Not entirely. But before we talk about the negatives or the drawbacks of the rocket launcher and why even though it's got the most damage to bases if, of any unit in the game currently, why is it still not a top contender? But before we start talking about the pros and why it still might not be the most desirable unit for you to have, even though it does boast the highest amount of fortification damage, i.e. against bases in the game, let's talk about a couple of the other advantages first of the rocket launcher. As many of you know now, infantry has exploded onto the scene in Warpath in about the last four to six months. For the first about two years-ish of Warpath, you would hardly ever see an infantry unit on the field. They were pretty much non-existent. They clogged up the battlefield. They just weren't used, but they have upgraded the infantry units. They have added infantry specific officers that have made infantry so strong that they have become insanely popular amongst a lot of players. You're probably wondering, well, this video is about rocket launchers, so why are you talking about infantry? And the reason I'm talking about infantry is because that plays in direct conversation with the fortification damage. A lot of players use infantry to attack bases or to start attacks on bases. They use it to tank bases and to soak up as much damage as possible for their other units. So the goal as the person being attacked you want to get through that initial unit, which is generally speaking going to be the strongest unit that that person has that's going to be starting the attack on your base. You want to kill that as fast as possible to then be able to get to the other weaker units like the artillery and the rocket launchers that they're using against your base. When an infantry unit is in a bunker mode, which they all are when they start an attack on a base, that is considered a fortification, which means that now the rocket launcher will be doing 350% more damage to that infantry unit because it is in bunker mode. That makes it a highly sought after unit for players that are being attacked. And some players build setups and build their entire army and tech around base defense. They love to drop into villages and they love to be attacked. They invest everything into base defense, into artillery tech, and this is a unit for that type of player. Now, does that mean that the rocket launcher is a one singular focused unit and that is on base defense, or is there some application in the open field? Believe it or not, there is some application and some benefit to having the rocket launcher in the open field, but it is slim. One of the biggest advantages of the rocket launcher is its speed. It is extremely fast. The only unit that is faster than the rocket launcher is the light tank. This means it is very mobile. It's very agile in the open field. It can get in and out of places very, very quickly, and it makes it an ideal unit 
for sniping artillery units. Whether you were going after artillery units that are in army groups or whether you were going after artillery units that are streaming out of bases, that are reserve artillery units, whatever the case is, if you were targeting another weak unit with a rocket launcher, it is a very, very good unit. Being in the open field with a rocket launcher, while it does do pretty good against other weak units, i.e. artillery, being in the open field with a rocket launcher is a very, very dangerous play to make, and it is a really high likely chance that you are just going to bleed reserves if you try to take it in the open field, especially in the late game when you're playing against more experienced and better fighting players. That's going to transition us into the cons of the rocket launcher. So we talked about the one of the pros is that it is very effective and does boast a high amount of damage to fortifications. We've also talked about it being extremely effective against other artillery units, other weak units, and then also sniping weak units through the reserve lines, things like that. But one of the single biggest, if not the biggest drawback to the rocket launcher is its health, its HP. You guys can see this is not a leveled up version of a 9.2 rocket launcher, but it is a 9.2 rocket launcher. These are the baseline stats, and you can see just how incredibly weak these rocket launchers are. Now, of course, as you add parts and add modifications and transition it into the modern stages, that does improve, but nonetheless, it is an insanely weak unit, probably the weakest unit in the game. And I say probably because again, there are so many factors that go into that, such as tech, such as parts and things like that, but it is absolutely on the bottom end of the strong units in the game. It is insanely, insanely weak. So when you leave your base with the rocket launcher, if you get hit by a tank, but if you're targeted by a bomber, which is really popular because martyr bombers will zero in on that thing, it will freeze it and it will just obliterate it. It's, it, it's just a, a reserve bleeding machine is really what it comes down to if you try to use the rocket launcher in the open field. So if you are going to be using it in the open field, you need to keep it in close proximity to your base at all times. You do not want to go out and just start free roaming it and freestyling it around in the open field you know, way out of the way. You want to stay in close proximity to your base. So if you do get targeted, you can try to get back as quickly as possible to minimize the number of losses that you're going to take. If you are incapable of staying in close proximity to your base and you do not have the ability to fight the urge to run around way out in no man's land and start killing infantry unit, or I'm sorry, uh, artillery units, you could, you obviously could do infantry units too then the rocket launcher is probably not for you. This is a unit that takes a lot of patience and a lot of discipline to use and to use effectively. Now, the next drawback of the rocket launcher is going to be the firing rate. Now, if you guys remember when we were talking about the positives, I said one of the positives is that a lot of players start tanking bases with infantry units, and it does a high amount of damage to infantry units when they are in bunker mode. However, that's also a little bit of the drawback, not that it does a lot of damage to fortifications or infantry specifically, that's a good thing. The bad thing is the firing rate of the rocket launcher. It is insanely, insanely slow. Now, you can of course improve that through, te through technology, and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean specifically by that here in just a second, but it is an insanely slow firing unit. I'm gonna use this rocket launcher that I have on screen as an example. It is level 200 out of 200. I do not have any modifications. I do not have any parts, and it is obviously not leveled up in a modern aspect at all. Taking all of that into consideration, if we come in and we look at the load time right here, the load time of the rocket launcher is 6.65 seconds. That is not good. That means that you are going to, at best, if unless you were just an insanely strong player or somebody that has invested pretty much exclusively into base defense tech and your walls, that is going to give you enough time to maybe get two volleys of rockets off before your base is completely destroyed. And we know what as strong as infantry units are and as strong as some of these super heavies that are going to be tanking bases are, that's not going to hardly do anything any damage to those units. Now I did just for context, I did go ahead and I maxed out all of the modifications. I added the best parts that I possibly have to this rocket launcher. Now let's take a look at how fast the load time is. So if we scroll down, we can see with maxed out modifications and I would say, you know, average to maybe slightly above average parts. I don't have great rocket launcher parts, 
But with all of that taken into consideration, the load time is 5.88 seconds, and that is still awful, especially when we are comparing it to the likes of the Liberty Artillery Unit, which in some cases is going to be between three and two seconds worth of load time. I mean, you're talking about a two to three two to three second difference in load time between the Liberty Artillery Unit and the rocket launcher. So you're essentially going to get double the amount of shots off with the Liberty Artillery as you will the rocket launcher. Now, if we jump over into our tech, I will show you how you can improve this just a little bit. So if we go into advanced combat under the artillery tree, you guys are gonna see here at about the midway point off-road trucks. Once you complete off-road trucks, it is going to have the load time for a rocket launcher's first reload reduced by one second. While that is good, absolutely that is good, it is still not good enough. I mean, if we take that and put that into context, we're talking about a 5.88 second load time. Now, again, every unit is going to be just a little bit different. Everybody's rocket launcher is going to be a little different depending on parts and things like that. But we're talking about a 5.88 second reload time. And we're gonna take one second off that. That gives us a 4.88 second load time. That's still not good enough to compete with the Liberty Artillery Unit. And that is only on the first volley. After the first volley of rockets is fired, this tech no longer is in effect and does not matter. You're going off the standard load time. Now, of course, there are ways that you can minimize that even more with officers and officer skills. But what I'm saying is, it is just not good enough right now. It is very weak in the open field, which makes it a pretty much non-factor in the open field. Again, if you just get really lucky and find a way to plant your base in, in the middle of a reserve line or something like that, which is very, very rare. But if you do have your if you do find yourself in a situation like that, then maybe the rocket launcher is going to be an asset to you when sniping those weak units. But just generally speaking, you are definitely not going to be wanting to take it out into the open field. Uh, it's going to get obliterated. It's going to get targeted by tanks. It's going to get targeted by other artillery units. It's going to get targeted by bombers. So it's pretty much just free food when you've got it out in the open field. Where it thrives is attacking bases. So when you've got it in base defense, right, the only unit it's going to have a lot of an advantage against is going to be infantry units. So if they tank with like a super heavy, for example, the rocket launcher is pretty much a non-factor non at that point. If you do tank with an infantry, or somebody does tank you, I should say, with an infantry unit, that's where the rocket launcher is going to be to your benefit. But again, if we take that and also factor in the insanely slow load time, I mean, how much damage are you really going to be getting off against those infantry units? Not much, right? And so now it becomes a big question of, is it even worth it to have for base defense? And my answer would be no. It would be no unless you just need it as a filler unit. If you have the opportunity to have two Liberty Artillery units, for example, I would probably do that. If you don't and you need a unit that's going to bolster your defense a little bit, in the meantime, I would say go for a rocket launcher. But you kind of just have to play it based on situation to situation. Now, if you do find yourself in a situation where you either want to have a rocket launcher or you have to have one as basically a filler unit, here are a few officers that are going to make a lot of sense on the rocket launcher. Number one is going to be Antonina Shevchenko. She's obviously a no-brainer. She is an artillery-specific officer. She is also going to, if you have any intention of using the rocket launcher in the open field, you definitely want to have Antonina on that rocket launcher because of her fifth awakened skill, which is going to give you that one extra map grid of firing range. The next officer that you might want to consider having on your rocket launcher is going to be War Machine. He is a good all around, a versatile officer. He's going to add some firepower, some damage, but the biggest draw with War Machine is going to be his reduces the load time of the troop by 10%. The big emphasis we talked about was how slow of a firing rate the rocket launcher had. So anything you can do to re reduce that load time, you want to make sure you do it. And War Machine is going to give you that capability. And then the third and final officer that you would want to consider if you do have a rocket launcher is going to be Berserker Bear. He is an artillery specific officer. He doesn't do anything just crazy off the charts. He's a pretty decent all around officer. But one of the big draws to Berserker Bear and why he is somebody that you want to at least consider for your rocket launcher is his third skill. It's going to increase the firepower of the artillery unit by 30%. And if he is on a rocket launcher troop, he will increase the firepower 
by an extra 5%. Now, of course, 5% is not a lot, but any and everything can help. So with all of that being said, what are going to be my suggestions to you? Well, kind of like I've already said, if you've got the ability to make two Liberty artillery units, for example, or maybe a Liberty artillery unit and a martyr watch artillery unit, I would suggest going that route. If you don't have that ability and you are looking for a unit that is going to at least get you by, that can do a little bit of damage, the rocket launcher is going to be that unit for you. But other than that, I would suggest staying away from it. At least right now, if they buff it and they increase the health or they reduce the load time, whatever that might look like in the future, and I have no idea if they have plans to do that or not. But if they do, then I would suggest maybe at that point looking at it, but at the moment, I would say stay away from the rocket launcher if you can. With all of that being said, let me know what you think. Do you currently have the rocket launcher and do you like it? Do you not like it? If you do have it, what role do you use it in? Do you use it primarily in base defense situations? Do you go out and try to hunt in the open field with it? What do you use it for and how effective is it? I would love to see what you guys say in the comments. If you have stuck around and made it this far into the video, if you guys have access to Discord and are not already in our community Discord server, the link to that is gonna be in the description of the video below. Click on that link, it'll take you right into the community Discord server. Whether you are a new player and maybe you have questions, wanna learn more, whether you're a veteran player and just wanna come hang out and meet more people in the community, doesn't matter, absolutely everybody is welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me in the video today. We'll catch you guys on the next one.